Welcome to Navy Paints. In this video, I'll be showing you how I made my Pyramid Hologram Projector. It's super cheap to make, and you can build it in under 15 minutes. And for the time and cost invested, the end result is really cool. Going over all the items you need for the build. For the screen, I've gone with one millimeter clear plastic, a template to make the hologram projector, a permanent marker, a ruler, and a hobby knife, and some glue. For this video, I've used plastic adhesive glue, but on my final product I use for my tabletop, I've used super glue. For whatever scientific reason, super glue on clear plastic will frost it up and give a more staticky and grainy look to your hologram. If you want it to be crystal clear, stick with the plastic adhesive or PVA glue. With that, let's crack in. So the first thing to do was print off the little template. I'll put a link below where you can get a copy of this. So sit the template flat on the desk, place over the top the clear plastic. And with my text, I just go around marking out the key points on the template. With these marked out, I can use the ruler now to join up all the dots and draw out the copy of the template onto the plastic. When you're marking and cutting the template out, go slowly and be as accurate as possible, as any mistakes now will make your life difficult later down the line when trying to join it up. And here's the template marked out on the plastic. Now it's time to cut out the template using my hobby knife. When cutting it out, I go really slowly with the hobby knife, scaring the same area three to four times. When I've cut about halfway through, I stop with the cutter and with my hands, just pop open the join. With the four sections cut out, I just butt them up on the table to make sure they're the right size. After checking the sizes are correct, I've got this texture still left over and I want to remove this now. To remove the texture, I use a bit of tissue and on this I place some Mr. Color Thinner. This stuff is quite potent, so you want to do this in a well-ventilated area or outside if possible. So just rub this over the texture and you'll notice it removes it straight away. Not only is this great to remove the texture, it won't damage your plastic at all. With the texture now removed, I can start gluing it together. When gluing these four pieces together, really take your time as again, any mistakes here will affect the end result. So using some of my plastic adhesive, I place it along one of the edges of the pieces, then butt up a second piece into that, making sure both ends line up correctly. With that in the correct position, I let the glue dry fully, and I repeat this process, gluing the other two pieces into position. And as easy as that, the pyramid's done. To get my hologram effect, just go on YouTube, type in pyramid hologram, a bunch of videos will pop up, choose the one you want, place your pyramid down on the screen in the correct position, and enjoy the little projection inside your pyramid. While this is a cool idea, it's not very practical for a gaming table. So I've incorporated this into one of my pieces of terrain, building a shell around it with some plastic card and some random bits. This way I can always have the pyramid hologram in the same position, so when I slide my phone in, it always projects perfectly every time. And with that, the pyramid hologram is ready for the tabletop. Thanks for watching Navy Paints. If you liked the video, please click the sub button or leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch up.